In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to obtain the mean and standard deviation on the variables exam score and GPA for the six people that we have in our data set, where, for example, person number one has an exam score of 85 and a GPA of 3.23. Okay, to obtain the mean and standard deviation on these two variables, we want to go to Analyze on the menu bar, Descriptive Statistics, and then select Descriptives. Okay, once we do that, the Descriptives window opens, or the dialog box here is open. Notice we have the two variables, exam score and GPA, on the left. And in SPSS, whenever we want to obtain an analysis on any variable, we simply select it and move it to the right. So go ahead and notice that exam score is selected. Click the right arrow button and it moves to the variables box. Then select GPA. Click the right arrow button and move that over as well. Okay, with both variables now in the, on the right, let's go to options. You know, notice in options, there's four different options selected. We have mean, standard deviation, minimum, and maximum. Now we want the mean and standard deviation but we don't need the minimum and maximum in this example. So let's go ahead and click on the check boxes to the left of those two terms and notice that now the options are deselected. That is, they are not selected any longer. Okay, so we have what we want here, mean and standard deviation. So go ahead and click continue. And we're ready to go now, so click OK. And when we do that, a new window opens which is called the viewer window in SPSS. We can also call it the output window. And in the output window, we have our results here in this table. You can see the variables exam score and GPA. Notice here we have an N, which comes out by default. This just tells us we had six values on each of these variables. We have a mean of 83.33 if we rounded two decimal places for exam score with a standard deviation of 8.76. And for GPA, we have a mean of 2.95, with a standard deviation of 0.42. Okay, that's about it for this tutorial. So this concludes the tutorial on obtaining the mean and standard deviation in SPSS using the Descriptives Procedure.